こんばんは、はじまです今日私はベトナムのハノイに行ってますハノイというのはベトナムの首都ですいつも私が住んでいるのはホーチミンでホーチミンからですね、約2時間くらい飛行機で行ところがハノイですでハノイはですね、えー、まあ日本で言えばですね、九州からまあ青森ぐらい離れてるんでだいぶ距離がありますでホーチミンはですね、まあ、年中常夏で暖かいんですけどもハノイはですね、四季がありますでも今ちょうど夏なので結構暑くて、まあ、昼はすっごいもう暑だらだらだったんですけどもあの今日はですね、夜になってあの雨が降ってこんな感じですごい涼しい感じで今いるのが野外のコーヒーショップなんですけどこんな感じで人もですね、この外に座って飲むっていうのはベトナムの文化なので僕もですね、今日コーヒー飲みながらある企画をやりたいと思いますそれでですね、今日は特別ゲストが来てますでこの特別ゲストにハノイのですね、事情について聞いていきたいと思いますので楽しみにしててくださいゲストのチャンさんです。あ、チャンさんをですね、インスタキッチ私の会社を立ち上げたときの初期のスタートで、本当に助けてもらいました。おそらく2年半ぐらい働いたんですけども、その後辞めてですね、約それから6年間
very long time ago, maybe. That, that, that mindset, have to say something, have to do, consider more things, people do something, you know, the climate affect you, the personality of people, or how they do, why it's different. For me, I think there are several yeah, the first thing to do in ethics diabetes is climate. It's about geography and uh, also it's because of the history. Basically, the history of the South area and the North area is different. Yeah, for a long time. Like in the North area, we also have the, the, the more influence of the Chinese culture. Yeah, for about 1,000 years. Also affected by like American culture. Ah, right. Yeah. Uh, so like, maybe open. Yeah, more open. So maybe it's also the reason. Not only about the geographical reason, but also the historical reason. Yeah. Not like Chinese culture. Maybe house long time before. Maybe like like uh, Champa, uh, Champa yeah, Kingdom, or uh, something more kingdom. Recently, American culture. Uh, Thank you. So I'm just uh, moving to another topic. So I'm very new here. So what area? Like, I don't know. In, in this what we see is district one is a busy center. Let's say this uh, district two for foreigners. Residents area. So district seven maybe some rich people maybe living in Korean town. So in the uh, know some area. How? Yeah, actually it's a bit same in but the way the way is divided is a bit different. For example, in Hanoi, the center of Hanoi is the old quarter. So that's why it's mainly for the, the tour, tourism. Uh, tourists come to Hanoi want to see. Samsung or many big companies, the uh, industry zone. I heard there's a more than 400 people, no, 400,000 people. Yeah? You too? Actually, Samsung, Samsung and some other big Korean companies now, is, they are not located in Hanoi. They are located nearby, like, uh, in the industrial zone or Chinese industrial zone. Yeah, it's a cool thing. However, I think still you know, a lot of Korean living in Hanoi and they can go to Chicago for the, some companies, the okay. Korean companies in Hanoi and mm. the other industrial zone nearby. Okay. So maybe the viewer of this video clip, so mostly Japanese people. So when I, we think about uh, Japanese street in, in Hanoi City, about the team mastery, team mastery or inland area, how do you see those kind of areas as the like, Vietnamese? How do you see Japanese street? Do you often go there or how do you see those kind of areas? Uh, actually, for me, in Hanoi, I, I don't feel like uh, team Japanese street except the only one thing is a lot of Japanese restaurants there, but it's not to make me feel like it's the kind of Japanese group die there for everything. It's, it's, uh, it's totally different from Chinese town or 
Chinese town. Yeah, it's totally different. When you come to Chinese town, you can see the the cultural uh, and the means of uh, Chinese culture there, right? Yes. But uh, for like Himalaya and another street, that's not a lot of people live. Live now. But it's hot. Very hot. Yes. Ah, that's so Japanese stuff. I was on the ring. Yeah. I see, I see. Do you, you think compared to Chinese town, Korean town, it's smaller? Yeah, it's smaller and also it's not like typical. You often go there to eat Japanese food or not? Sometimes. Do you have any, do you remember any restaurant that you impressed me more? <laughs> do you remember? Uh, I uh, Ice sushi? Okay. Ice sushi, right? Yes. Yeah, one. Okay. Ice sushi is the running by Golden Gate Group. It's not Japanese company. <laughs> I see, I see. Yeah, one Japanese style and oh, yeah, also one Japanese Alright. Uh, yes. uh, talking about the food. So, yes, so traditional. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I've been around the city for a few, not few days, a few days. And I found many supermarkets from here, also the traditional market. So, when you buy some food for cooking, so where do you buy it? You need the uh, ingredients. Ingredients, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, for, for the ingredients, so I maybe buy from the market, the traditional market. Ooh. And sometimes in the convenience store, it arrives in the, the ground floor of our building. It's called the like Green Mark. Green Mark. Yeah. So how many we belong to Masaku. Yeah, okay. So how many percent do you buy from the market? How many percent from the Green Mark? About 50-50. Okay, so I think you are very modern woman. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean modern, uh, but let's say consumer behavior. I think, but you still buy in market. Market. I don't say it's bad or good, but it is changing. Like let's market more modern from market. But why you still buy market? Actually, in Vietnam now, I think um, people also still still buy in the market because uh, first it's a wide range of products in the convenience store it's very limited especially for Vietnam, uh, Vietnamese food you can see that we need a lot of different kind of ingredients in one dish so that's why if I go to the convenience store sometimes I lack of this one sometimes I lack of other ingredients so I, I cannot complete my dish yeah, for, for my dinner or something. How about Green Mark? Supermarket, right? Green Mark. Green Mark? Yeah. Is it supermarket one or you talk about convenience store? Which one? The, the small one. Small one. Yeah, convenience oh, store. But uh, for the supermarket, it's a bit far from my, my apartment. Apartment on the way to? Yeah, on the way to work. So that's why if I go to the supermarket, I just go like uh, twice per week. Or but if I go to the traditional market, yeah, I can, convenient. yeah, I can buy every day, and the food is more fresh. Yeah, because it's updated daily, right? So I, I can buy the fresh one every day. I don't need to keep in my my fridge for one week or something after the fresh one. I see. But for me, I never feel fresh in market in Vietnam. I feel, let's say. Compared to let's say what live in Japan, many even people feel it's very let's say not clean enough. Or sometimes you know, meat in hanging from the it look like you know many fry coming like this. You feel that that is more. <laughs> I should. I think supermarket is more fresh and clean, but what's the difference? Actually, it depends. What kind of uh, and uh, in the market? And as you say, it's also have some, let's say, be 
Tiss is the the the, the place for like open for every supplier and no one to control or, or just a little control about the quality of the book. So the the, the buyer should, should be smart and also they they need to be a good, good person, good they have to the good skill to choose which one is a fresh and which one is not. And which shop is selling the good food and which shop is not. It's a bit different from the supermarket. But if you can choose the, the fresh one, and I, I think it's sometimes better than even in the supermarket. Oh, depends on the seller. Yeah, depends on the seller. If you can find a good seller, it's always fresh and good price. Yeah, better price. You, you can like negotiate or what is the rule in the market? <laughs> Sometimes, oh. actually, I think in the past, like uh, people say, tend to negotiate more. But for me now, almost no negotiation when I go to the, the market. Yeah, because I think the, even they, they ask for higher price. The, so that is not much, so no, I, I don't need to negotiate with other price. Okay, can I ask you some uh, a bit funny question? Even me and including people, all people in Thai, I mean, uh, Ho Chi Minh, Thai Gong people, are afraid buying something in the market in Hanoi. You know why? Why? Because if you don't buy, the market people are very angry at you. It's a very famous story, is it? Uh, this is no, yeah. no, no, what I heard. Yeah, Something so like, a legend, a, like a city legend. Uh, actually, for me, I think it's a past. It's, it's, it's too sorry. Too sorry about it? Yeah, but now, I would say, I, I think the, the market in general is more open. And not just only in Taiwan, in Vietnam in general, they are more open. And the awareness of the people also Oh, yeah. I'm not tourist. Oh, uh, so my final question is: So, uh, how do you feel about the metro? Because uh, I just uh, you know, tried the metro, first metro in Vietnam. I'm very excited. But I just want to know: How do you see the metro, or even do you use option? So, before my answer, so I want to ask: What is your first impression about the metro? I feel very impressed that oh, Vietnam city is like that, that long time like this city. I've been here for 10 years. I never imagined in this city you have a metro, people get on a uh, train, like a behavior very good like this. That's why I can't imagine. That's why I feel that when they're going to be growing up, the uh, metro won't seem more economic government. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you for the observation. Uh, yeah, I use uh, metro a lot. A lot. Yeah. So actually, because uh, my apartment building is near metro station, so I try once and I feel yeah, it's convenient, clean, and also not too fast, but no traffic So I think wow. Oh, uh, transportation, mental for me. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I often uh, go to some other places by the metro. If my destination is near metro station, so I go uh, so that is better okay. so from my from metro station. You walking to the last destination, or how do you go from the station? Uh, several ways. First, uh, I can walk. Second, I can ride. I ride a bike because I have the, the uh, normal one. Uh, not ride a bike is what? The, the normal one, the normal. normal. Uh, no, the the bicycle. 
You bring it inside, right? No. I I keep it in the the park. So when I Do you need two more to buy? Uh, one. One. One from the yeah. example. Go yeah. from 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 house to station. You walk. Yeah, because it's so very near. near. Okay, okay. I took uh, take about two minutes okay. from my apartment to. So you keep one bicycle near office. Yeah. Station near the office. Yeah. I see. In general, it's very convenient. Do you feel? Not really. So convenient because now it's just only the the first place of uh, making the, the metro line. So that's why the first one you have the only one road. I know. Yeah, so it's not really convenient. It's just, just convenient if the, the destination is or the office is near the, the station. If not, you cannot go by by train. Uh, just have the one way. So, but I think uh, the other way they 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 are completely so shouldn't. It's, uh, it's very convenient. Okay. So, in general, do you think that metro has changed some idea of people about the say, commuting or because in Vietnam people imagine people people do they go to the work or to somewhere by motorbike very popular. Or one I think it is good amount of the time to answer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if the like uh, the passengers like me, I feel like uh, oh, it's convenient for me to go to work by the train, no traffic jam, it save my time or something. So they will choose the, the train instead of the bike. Like uh, the government. じゃあ、バイバーイ。